This video will demonstrate how to use Automation API through an API Gateway. An API Gateway provides a single point of entry for multiple APIs in the organization. One advantage is that clients do not need to know the physical hostname where the API they need is running. Instead, they connect to the Gateway which then routes the request to the right service and returns the response. API Gateways also provide additional functionality like load balancing and rate limiting. For the API gateway to know which service a request should be routed to, an HTTP header is used to indicate the target service for the request. On this machine we currently have the Kong gateway installed and there's currently no services defined on it. We can run the services request against the Kong admin port and see that there's nothing defined. So let's try to create a service for the console M API. We use the following request against the Kong admin port services, create a service named controlm-api, and this is the endpoint URL of our automation API. The response indicates that it was successful. So now we need to create a route. Again, another request against the Kong admin API to define a route for the controlm-api. The host parameter defines what host the clients need to indicate they want to connect to to connect to this service. Uh, that can be any logical name. So in this case, controlm.api, it's not a real host name, it's just a logical name. And we indicate we want to accept HTTPS requests only, so that credentials and API tokens are always encrypted. The response indicates that the request was successful. So now we can run a test request against the service. So let's run a request like we would normally run against Automation API. So now we're connecting to the Kong gateway on its normal HTTPS port. And we'll do the session slash login Automation API request with the usual uh, content type and username and password need, we need to specify for that. And now the Kong gateway tells us no route matched with those values. Um, this is because we didn't specify uh, the additional parameter that the Kong API gateway needs to know where to route this request. So let's add that parameter. So this time we ran the same request, but we added the host controlm.api HTTP header. That told the Kong API gateway to route the request to the controlm API. And so we got a successful login and got a user token back. What if we want to use the CTM CLI to connect through the Kong API gateway to connect to the Automation API? So let's try setting up an environment like that. We run the CTM env add command with the Kong URL import and em user em pass. It was created. And now let's try a CTM session login to see if that works. And we get the no route match with those values message back from Kong. And this is because obviously the CTM CLI doesn't automatically send the, the right HTTP header for Kong to know where this request should be routed to. So we can tell the CTM CLI to do that by using the following command CTM env update with the same environment name, additional login header, and then the HTTP header that we defined the Kong route with. So let's try CTM session login again. And this time it worked, it came back with the token nicely. That concludes this ControlM Automation API video. Visit jobsascode.io and github.com slash controlm for more resources like this.